Okay, this will be a, a basic orientation to the Fluke 325. Uh, 325 is a very nice meter. It's a clamp meter. It's really designed for electricians, maintenance technicians, uh, someone who's going to take measurements, high voltage, high current measurements. Uh, this particular one it, on the uh, on the clamp, you can see it says 400 amps right here. 400 amps. Let me zoom into that if I can. 400 amps. So it's a 400 amp meter. Also. On the side, you can see CAT3, CAT3 up to 600 volts, and CAT4 up to 300 volts. So this is a, it's a pretty good industrial meter. Anything up to 480 would be okay. So this would be great for, you know, general maintenance. So let's look at the settings for just a minute. We have a voltage setting right here. What I'll show you how to do in this short video is how to take a simple DC voltage measurement. You notice it comes up on AC. That's the default. If I push this button here in the middle, it goes to DC. So if I try to measure DC with an AC setting, it probably shows zero, uh, and and vice versa. So make sure you're on the right setting for what you're trying to do. Right now we're going to do a DC voltage measurement. I've got a battery here. I bought a, a six volt battery this morning. On the battery, it's got a plus minus. So that's polarity, and uh, it's important. I wish the I wish it was labeled a little bit larger. It's hard to see. It's very small, but that's okay. It's a plus minus. So if you can see the meter there, I've got it set on DC. Uh, these are these are fluke probes. They're very nice. Uh, they are they are twist twist probes. So I don't know if you can see that that writing in the middle there. If you, if you have it protected, it's rated up to category 3 at 1,000 volts, cat 4 at 600 volts. It's got some protection here over the probe. If I bring the probe back, the, the cover back, like so, now it's a cat 2 at 1,000 volts. So the category rating describes the uh, energy content of what you're trying to measure. So if you're at a like at a, a, a high capacity location like a main service disconnect, that's a category four location. There's a tremendous amount of energy there. Not only that, but it's very close to the power system, the utility system. So if there's a lightning strike somewhere, anywhere really, a uh, surge could run down the line and uh, blow up your meter. So if you're, if you're working at a location that's really close to the source of the power, you really want a Category 4 meter, period. And this one is up to 300 volts. So this meter, I'd feel comfortable using this to measure residential up to 240. Uh, residential is pretty close to the source of the power. There's probably one transformer in between the house and the utility lines. Uh, so I'd feel okay with that. Uh, 600 volt, category 3. So in an industrial setting, I wouldn't like to use this meter too often around the, the main service disconnect. Maybe on the other side of a, a distribution transformer, a 480 transformer. So, you know, they have something between you and the utility connection. Okay, so cat 3 is, is also a very dangerous connection. Category 2 would be more like a, a, a inside of a house, let's say. Category 1 would be something like an inside of a vehicle where it's very, very safe, okay? So let's do the measurement here. I'm going to leave the probes covered up, I guess. Let's go with the plus and the minus. And you notice I have 6.5 volts, okay? Let me switch the probes around. You'll see a negative 6.5 volts. So that's telling me that the probes are backwards. Uh, the black wire, the black probe, is usually the negative connection. Red probe is usually the positive connection. So there's your, let me zoom in again on this if I can. Uh, make that a little bit better. So there's your, your positive and your negative. Okay. Um, so that's basically how you do it. 
Uh, whenever I can, I like to put a clip on the negative lead and just connect it to the ground pole, the ground connection, which is here, and use this on the as a uh, measuring probe, the red probe. Okay. Uh, something I'll say also about that. Now that I threw the word out there, of ground on this on this negative connection here, it's not really a ground connection. A ground is technically a connection back to the earth for lightning protection or static electricity. If I connect this negative point of the battery to a ground conductor, then it is a true ground. A lot of times, especially on DC systems, uh, what I'm really talking about is a, a circuit ground, just a common connection that all, all the components share. So the negative connection is usually the circuit common. Like in the case of a car, for example, the frame of the car is the negative connection on the battery, so that's your common connection. Uh, everything else has, you know, a hot wire goes out to the radio, for example, to power up the radio. The radio connects back to the frame of the car, so that's your, your return path to the battery. Okay, uh, so I think that's enough about simple DC measurements. Um, let me stop this video now.